A Montana House Rules Committee upheld the decision by the Speaker to not allow Democratic Representative Zoe Zephyr of Missoula to talk on the House floor today. Now, the decision comes after comments Representative Zephyr, a transgender woman, made earlier this week about Senate Bill 99. That's the bill that restricts health care for transgender youth. The House was debating amendments to the bill offered by Governor Greg Gianforte. And while speaking Tuesday, Zephyr told lawmakers they should be ashamed if they pass these amendments. Republican Majority Leader Sue Vinton of Billings stood up to say the body would not be shamed, to which Zephyr replied, and the only thing I will say is if, I, if you vote yes on this bill and yes on these amendments, I hope the next time there's an invocation, when you bow your heads in prayer, you see the blood on your hands. No so as a result of her comments Tuesday, Speaker of the House, Republican Matt Regeer of Kalispell, said he had concerns Zephyr would maintain decorum if he called on her. Today, he decided not to recognize her. His decision occurred when the House was debating Senate Bill 458. That's the one that would define sex in Montana law based on a person's reproductive systems. The legislature's Democratic members then objected, causing the House Rules Committee to convene to decide if Regeer had the authority to ignore Zephyr. Well, the committee voted 15 to 7 along party lines to uphold his decision. We reached out to both Representative Zoe Zephyr and House Speaker Matt Regeer. In an interview with MTN's Claire Peterson, Speaker Regeer said Representative Zephyr will be allowed to speak once she regains trust and apologizes. Claire also asked him about his decision to restrict her while the House was discussing that Senate Bill 458. Um, I guess what would you say to critics that are saying, um, you know, you're almost silencing her on issues that she has um, personal experience with. What would you say to those critics? Um, I'm not uh, silencing anybody. This is, uh, there's a path forward. Uh, it's in the rules um, to acknowledge recognition or not. Uh, once again, anybody, any representative that wants to debate within, within the decorum um, and within that integrity and dignity of the house that the Montana house is uh, accustomed to, um, I'm going to recognize them. During her interview with Claire tonight, Zephyr spoke of her restriction. She says everyone in the House has different backgrounds and opinions and was elected for a reason. With her background as a trans woman, she said she was confused as to why her voice wasn't listened to for this particular debate. Each of us have were sent here by our constituents to engage in that debate, and we deserve access to participate in that debate. So it's telling that the speaker chose this moment and me, particularly as a representative, um, to wield his authority to ignore uh, a member of the House of Representatives. Whereas when we've heard uh, other controversial statements or other statements that people disagreed with, um, he did not choose those moments. The Montana Freedom Caucus had published a release Tuesday night saying, Representative Zephyr used inappropriate and hateful language and it called for her censure while also misgendering her. In response, the Montana Democratic Party sent out a statement today that says in part, targeting and intentionally misgendering the first openly transgender woman lawmaker in Montana is beneath the office our legislators hold. We will continue to update you on this story.